So then what led you to decide to undertake an MSc thesis at James Cook University in Townsville in 83? Yes, um, I, I'd learned that this was going to be the last master's course that would, be, that would involve Bill Lacey and so I, I always remembered how practical he was and how much I'd learned from his course on Bougainville. And so I thought to myself, this is really an opportunity I can't miss. So um, I made some inquiries about the MSc course. Um, I was actually back in Australia at the time and um, I went out to see Roger Taylor, uh, who was together with Bill Lacey. Um, they pretty much set up the master's course and it was one of these practical courses that you could do by coursework. So I was sitting in Roger's office and uh, one of the prerequisites for the Masters was that you had to have an honours degree, which I didn't have. And so I was very concerned about this because I really wanted to do the course. And so sitting with Roger, um, I explained my situation. He said, well, you've got quite a lot of experience and you've travelled a fair bit for the last few years. Do you have any reports that you can show me or uh, something that I can use to take it to the faculty and see how we can get round this? So I, I had written up a lot of my mind tours, I had photographs, and it was just something I enjoyed doing. So I brought some of these into him and he said, uh, I don't think we even have to go to the faculty, this is good enough. So uh, I was in on the master's course, which I was extremely happy about. Um, Lucky I, that look, Roger's such a pragmatic bloke. Oh, he was, yeah. and I, you know, we'd be, we became very good friends and keep in regular touch as much as possible. But I had tremendous um, respect and admiration for, for Roger, um, just one of these great field geologists. And with a good slab collection. With a great slab collection, a <laughs> sense of humour and uh, just a wonderful person. So I was very fortunate to be exposed to Roger. Uh, my thesis topic was Tourmaline Bretsch's Mineralisation and Genesis or something like that. And it was a practical thesis, basically it was uh, um, I'd been to a lot of tourmaline pipes um, over the years, particularly in, in the Americas. What was missing was um, some field exposure to those in Cornwall and in Europe. So um, I arranged to... So you've uh, been to El Teniente? Yes, yes I had, Tocopala, mm -hmm. um, Pilates, a number of others. And so um, what was missing, as I said, was any exposure to Cornwall and Europe. So I um, once again took some time off. Um, got my way to, um, to Cornwall, where I met Chris Halls. Um, Chris was very enthusiastic and organised a trip for me down to uh, Wheel Renfrey, which is an absolute classic tourmaline pipe exposure, and some of the um, contact textures, etc., in Cornwall, Porth Leaden, etc. And then I also visited the tourmaline pipes in a place in France, Poulevrin, and uh, in Scandinavia as well, Uliavi in um, Sweden. So I felt that I had enough information, plus I had also been working for Amex on the tourmaline breadship pipes near Chiligo, uh, a place called Nightjim and Kabura. So this was enough material for my thesis and uh, so uh, I wrote the thesis eventually. Um, it went extremely well. I had a lot of help from uh, both Roger and also from Mike Rubinek, who wasn't one of my supervisors, but I gratefully acknowledge his help in getting me over the line.